So how are you thinking about this changing world? You know, how rights holders uh, needs might be changing. Can you just give us a little thoughts on the state of the play right now? Sure, sure. Thank you, Wendy. It's uh, great to be here with everybody. Um, I kind of feel like you you know, you've all heard, I imagine if you're rock and roll fans, you've heard legends of like, there was a band called the Velvet Underground and 17 people went to see the first show. And the remarkable thing was they all started rock bands. Same thing with the Sex Pistols, right? This is that moment right now. You're watching the Velvet Underground of the Sex Pistols on stage and you're gonna go and seize the technology to start your own rock band. We'll see, right? Like, I, I, I see it a little bit like this. Like, I've been super fortunate in my career. I've been able to be involved with about 125 films, and I think a lot of it comes down to one question, which is why do we keep settling for just what is? Why do we accept this world as it is? We have a film ecosystem that works. Why bother try to make it better? Why bother because I see plenty of good movies that never get made into great. I see many great movies that never get seen and never reach their audiences. You know what you have in your catalog. You know what you've made. You know what, how it affects people and audiences when they get the opportunity. And let's be super real, it doesn't work right now. It hasn't ever worked. I've been able to have a great career because I keep saying, why does this not work better? And I've been super fortunate along my career to a few times see some things that can improve it. Because I had done that, I had the opportunity to spend the, the last six years working with this guy named Jeff Bezos. You might have heard of him. He's had a couple good ideas in his life. And one time I asked him, I said, like, Jeff, that question, why aren't things better in everywhere? And he said a really simple answer that is actually being answered on the stage like right now, which was in any industrialized ecosystem, there are a host of operational improvements that will make things a hell of a lot better. But nobody goes and addresses them because they think good is good enough. They don't deploy the capital to make the improvement because they're betting on a gold rush instead of a consistent, sustainable return. Whether you're a rights holder or an artist, an entrepreneur, and you want to use this incredible thing call, called film to bring people together and hopefully change their lives and maybe generate some, some money, you know, you have to start to say, how do we make it better? What are those operational improvements? And that's what I try to, you know, in Amazon fashion, they say, develop pattern recognition for. I try to keep my eyes open for what are those little steps that can make things a lot better. I think as you've heard, like particularly in, in you know, this timing of a global pandemic with the shift of our industry from one that was once a single title revenue-based business to what is now under global streaming, completely different. It's an audience acquisition business. That business requires the companies that are in it to make a lot of content really fast on a regular basis. And if you've lived through the last two, three, five years, you know what happens to those movies. They disappear. They get buried under this onslaught. So I keep wondering, what do we do? What do we do to make sure that we bring the people who love movies around these films that have already been made and their value and utility have not been extracted? And I look for things. So I, I have to give Kroll, you know, credit with credit is due. Like he and uh, you know, Brian, uh, both are uh, friends in, in, uh, in the States that I talked to about these advances in a regular business. And they, he was like, man, have you heard of Artini? Have you seen what they can do? And like that idea of a simple, easy to use platform that both allows you to reach large communities with the titles that you control the rights to or home audiences in a one-step basis that can be geo-blocked, that you can set your license terms, that people can you, you know, use in an easy way, to me is one of those things that unlocks that potential. It is a game changer. I just taught you how to play the guitar. I hope you have a song to sing. Go out there and be Lou Reed, Sid Vicious, and Johnny Rotten. 
of the film business because you have everything you need now, thanks to Artini. I'm not a pitch man. I'm an honest enthusiast when I see something, and I want to help.